and uh, finally let us talk about the universal design for learning now udl is important because we sometimes see questions based on this udl so what is this udl or universal design for learning so udl is a framework for how to develop lesson plans and assessments right so there are three main principles of udl the first one is about engagement the second one is about a representation and the third one is about action and expression if they sound a little complicated just go through the details and you'll see that they are very very simple and easy to understand for example the first principle engagement is about motivating the learners and sustaining their interest that is maintaining their interest if you don't motivate your learners and if you can't maintain their interest then you can't teach anything so that is common sense so how do you motivate learners and how do you keep them interested in the classroom well you have to include learners in all the decisions so this is nothing but using democratic st teaching strategies and you have to give them relevant assignments and examples that is the examples and the assignments must be something that they can relate to and understand in the context of their real life or day to day life and learning must be a fun activity if it is boring then they won't be interested and you should allow learners to get up and move around in a traditional classroom students are expected to sit in one place without moving for long periods of time right but that makes them get very bored especially children so you should make sure that your classroom gives an opportunity for learners to get up and walk around every now and then then we come to representation representation means that whatever we are teaching whatever information we are trying to give the children in the classroom we should give it in more than one format we should use audio we should use video right because that is the only way we can keep them interested and we should give importance to hands on learning because hands on and experiential learning is the best way to learn and coming to action and expression it says that we should allow for more than one way to interact with the material in one of the previous slides we discussed about how there are different types of learning styles there can be visual there can be auditory there can be sensory or tactile right so we should provide opportunity for different students with different learning styles to interact with the material in the classroom so we can give them lots of written assignments which takes care of the written learning and we can give them oral reports we can give them presentations so that they work in groups and they learn through group activity and social interactions and we can give them group projects as well so these are all some of the ways in which we can use universal design for learning to make the learning and teaching process interesting in the classroom